Hello, lovelies. Yeah, welcome back to the show. About with Simone Mercy, your girl. Yes, we're back to introduce you and the world to those emerging artists in the art, entertainment, fashion, film, and those businesses that support those arts. And I have one of those business ladies that support the arts. This is Jody Goodfellow. Jody, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Thanks. Oh, thanks for having me. I am so happy to have you here. Jody is the founder of Startup Fashion Week. Now, she cultivates those new designers that are within Toronto and beyond with their brand and gets them out there and gets them shown how to do it and stay in the industry. So, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, now, we've known each other for going on six years now. So, tell me about Startup Fashion Week. Sure. So Startup Fashion Week launched five years ago in 2014 here in Toronto. And uh, we're excited about our fifth anniversary happening October 15 to 19. Um, we're going to be hosting for the first evening an exclusive invite only for um, designers to come to an intimate dinner um, just to show our support um, and, and gratitude for all of the support that we've had. Um, then we are hosting a media launch and opening party on October 16th, our business and fashion conference where we have a lot of notable speakers talking about law and PR and all kinds of cool new insights um, on the business of fashion. And then we have our newest event, the Gender and Fashion Forum. Yes. So excited about this one. We have a whole variety of speakers coming from different areas of the industry from designers who are going to be talking about gender neutral fashion to a hair salon owner who's going to be talking about um, the dress code project, something that she launched to help educate um, other salon owners about being more sensitive to um, to gender. And that's needed. It, it is, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, we also have a drag queen coming, which yeah. is super exciting, yeah. Tainomi Banks. Yes. Yeah, as well as JJ Kings. Um, he's very well known in the Yes, city. he is. Um, so he works in makeup, he's an entertainer, he models, he does a lot of yep. things. So with that mix of people, we're going to be learning a lot about gender and fashion. Good. Good question. And then, of course, we have our runway show happening on October 19th. Yeah, that was awesome. It, that's how we actually kind of like collaborated as you know friends, and it just like exploded because I came to audition exactly <laughs> five yeah. years ago, and unfortunately, you know, I had I had a little bit of an injury. I fell on my face, but we'll talk about that another time. So, but you know, it was like ah, you know I'm a little wobbly, but then I just kind of migrated into your runway coordinator. Exactly, <laughs> I know it was amazing, and it turned out. So awesome! It did. I, I mean, it, the the en the energy in the room, you know, the, it was just it was so vibrant. Off the, it was yeah, just off the charts off, for sure. Yeah, very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. And I know that that's the way it's going to be for this year and the last one that you had in Montreal. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we launched this year in Montreal. Um, we hosted a three day event. We hosted four events within three days. Wow. They were all sold out. We had a huge amount of support out of Montreal. Mm. Um, what is really cool and interesting is that our communities are now mixing. Yeah. Um, so we're really truly um, creating a community for fashion and fashion entrepreneurs within Canada. Yes. So it's really exciting to see. And that's a, it's a prominent thing. Is that's why I started the show because I mean to showcase the talent that's here in Canada. Exactly. And we need to cultivate it and keep them here and fund them so that they can stay here and keep that revenue to us. Exactly. Support us, take care of our tribe. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's why we're on location. We're over here at Kim Do Salon. Mm -hmm. In Yorkville. In exactly. Yorkville, yes. yes. Beautiful salon. Kim has been a sponsor, our hair sponsor, for the last five years. Awesome. At our show in Toronto. My hair and always looks tight. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> all yeah, the time. he makes all the models look mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Now, one other thing that I want to make sure to touch base on for the lovelies is that this is not your full-time gig. No, it's not. She's an educator, y'all. She is a teacher. I have, I, I am. I have been a high school teacher for 19 years, so you can believe that. You have patience <laughs> of a goddess. <laughs> so I am balancing, like most entrepreneurs, um, a full-time job with my side hustle and yep. producing a fashion week, which mm -hmm. if you can believe it's a side hustle. Yeah, um, <laughs> but it's me. 
need it. It, 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 it definitely, definitely need it. It's just a lot of work. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I've been mixing the two together for five years now and nice. still going at it. We're growing and, and that's what matters. Awesome. Now, we know that Fashion Week is coming up in October the 15th through the 19th. And we're going to be coming for uh, Montreal again. Yeah. Coming so, in uh, 2019 now, one sell state. Yeah, so we've already booked our dates because everybody <laughs> was so responsive in Montreal. They were. They were really excited about nice next year, well. so we've already booked our dates. It's going to be July 2nd to 5th, 2019. Perfect. So yes, lovelies, get your tickets for both of them. I'm <laughs> going to be there, so so should you. So is there anything that's going to be after? I mean, you know, take a vacation. No. <laughs> it's like, is there anything else that you're working I'm on? I'm always looking for opportunities to take a break, but... Yeah. Um, but quite honestly, I mean, it is a lot of work. So it takes about six months of prep to put a fashion week together. Okay. Um, so right now we've got two on the go, and that's as much as I can handle right there now with a full-time job. But we are looking at other opportunities to grow. We've held some events in Ottawa, mm -hmm. um, just one-day events, just to test the market. Um, but we're looking at other places to grow. We, we have an audience all across Canada, and oh, we're looking to support wow. creatives all across Canada for sure. So Good. Um, so we do have things on the horizon. Yeah. Um, we've also hosted a two-day boot camp this year for designers. Oh, right. yeah. So that was pretty exciting. It was something new that we did. Um, so you never know. There's yeah. always something interesting popping up. And uh, we're really just interested in, in connecting everybody together and helping brands and entrepreneurs and designers break into the industry. Perfect. You know, I applaud you 110% with just even just beyond being an educator you know being that ultimate supporter for those that are emerging so thank you again big time thank you thank you thank you, thank you. I, I am a blessed individual to be a friend that's migrated into your family hi mommy and hi sissy I just want to say hi <laughs> So anything and everything that we can do on the show about side, we are right there for you. Excellent. And, thank, and you. thank you, lovelies, for being there for us. We totally appreciate it. We're getting ready to celebrate our sixth year. I can't even imagine it, you know, when it first started. But you know what? We just gotta keep on keeping on supporting those that have that talent. We want them, we want them to be successful. Absolutely. Yeah. All thank right. you. Thank you, Jody. Thank you. And thank you. So less lovely. Got to check it out. Startup Fashion Week, October the 15th through the 19th here in Toronto. And make sure you take good care of you. Know that you are so loved. And I will see y'all after that.